We eat all. You eat all? Yes. That's, <laughs> that's not what I wanted her to say. <laughs> you see my hands shaking. <laughs> Bugs, this actually tastes good. We are at the start of the famous Sunday night market, and as the name suggests, every Sunday, thousands of vendors descend on the old city here in Chiang Mai, selling every souvenir that you could possibly imagine. But tonight, we're here for the food. Can I get one? Yeah. Three years ago, we came to Chiang Mai for the first time and we came to the Sunday night market and we made a video. However, we were new to traveling, we were new to vlogging, and let's just say it's a pretty average video. So our goal tonight is to make an updated version of the Sunday night market video, trying some old favorites and some new things, starting with this stuffed crab. We walked by this lady steaming these beautiful crabs and we just had to try it. She topped it with some crunchy fried onions and what looked like maybe some vinegar. It just smells amazing. Mm. That is so delicious. The crab just like melts in your mouth. It's so savory. I love crunchy fried onions. It's got some nice saltiness to it. Great start to the night. I tried those last time. They look beautiful, but they don't taste quite as good as they look. <laughs> so the interesting thing about the night market is it's not like there's stuff in one area and then food in another area. It's just all kind of like intermingled together, so you just gotta kind of be constantly keeping your eye out for something delicious. And it's obviously very crowded because it's very popular but it's not that annoying to get through the crowd because there's so much to look at that like just scooting along <laughs> you don't even really notice how slow you're going be prepared to scoot because you cannot move anywhere fast here it gets so packed it's only 6 30 the night market's only just started and it's already completely packed it would help like the flow of traffic if people just didn't set up in the middle of the room but i'm not the one that designed it <laughs> This might be the cutest snack at the Sunday night market. It's chicken because it's a chicken bun. I feel so sad eating it. Mmm. I'm not gonna lie. I did not have high expectations. First, because pretty much every time we've had buns outside of Hong Kong, they just haven't been as good. Plus, I thought this was all about the looks. It wasn't actually gonna taste very good. It's really good. It's like curried chicken. It's delicious. Transition, supporting the local economy. It's a win-win. It never fails in Southeast Asia. If you're eating street food, there's always fried dumplings. This lady was boiling them and then taking them right out of the water and frying them on a pan so they're nice and crispy. I don't even know what's inside of them yet. I'm gonna use my hand. But she poured soy sauce and sesame seeds on top. Mm. Mm. Delicious. This one even has some little bits of cabbage in there. I think it might be chicken and cabbage. So do I get all of these or? Uh, chicken. Chicken. Okay. Sounds good. If you ever find yourself wandering around the Chiang Mai night market looking for some delicious food, this is the place to come. It is a temple called Wat Sum Pao. Just look it up on Google Maps. They have a big food market. You can find all kinds of stuff here. My <laughs> so good. 
That might be the best thing I've had all night. What? It's really, really good. For real? Yeah, it's so good. We enjoy most of the things that we eat, so I feel like I really need to stress just how good this is. If you come to the night market, come to Watson Pal, get a chicken on a stick, and thank me later. It is so good. I hate that a chicken on a stick is like my favorite thing that I've had, but it's just delicious. <laughs> This very nice lady is letting me try a bite of her 100% pure squid egg. Mmm. <laughs> Interesting. Yummy. Yummy. How can we call them? You know, it kind of tastes like tuna. If you took the yellow part of a boiled egg and mix it in with canned tuna. That's what a squid's egg tastes like. <laughs> Not bad, but... I uh, hope you enjoy it. Yeah, it's very good. She's so cute. Okay, we're moving on from the really delicious things to the more interesting things. I started with the squid's egg, and now I'm going to try part the squid's leg. <laughs> Chewy. Chewy? Not bad though. It looks really intimidating, you know, because it's a leg like this big. But once they chop it up and add the sauce, it's not too bad. It's not too scary. I really like the charcoal flavor on the outside. Like the little crunches of charcoal is actually really yummy. It's not too fishy at all. I should put this sweet and spicy sauce on it. Much better than the egg. Uh, one mushroom and bacon. <laughs> it's hard to pass up bacon wrapped mushrooms when they only cost 30 cents. Also, if you're looking for a great foot massage for about four dollars, you can get an hour foot massage right outside the Watson Pal Temple. It's so fun to just watch the world go by while you're getting feet rubbed. Why do things on a stick taste so much better? <laughs> Yeah, the later it gets, the more crowded it gets. And just to give you some context, we've eaten all this food, and we are not even close to 20% of the way through this party. Okay, y'all, I know that I like most things, but the very first Sunday we were here in Chiang Mai, which was like five Sundays ago now, we came to the Sunday night market and we found these pork dumplings and we have come back every single week just for these. They are the best I have ever had. They're just the little bitty round dumplings stuffed with the most tender, juicy, spicy pork and then she tops it off with these little crunchy bits and soy sauce. It is amazing. Every day. And it's a great value. This thing is stuffed. I think there's 10 in here for only 50 bucks. This one's gonna be easy. We ordered two separate sets of bugs. We have like your, your starter bugs, which are your bamboo worms, and then what will be the biggest bug I've ever eaten if I can convince myself to put it in my mouth. I don't know why we do this to ourselves, but about once a year we force ourselves to eat bugs. It is almost the end of 2018. I've not had a proper bug experience this year, so go for it. My popcorn. Oh. I guess she fries them because there's nothing inside. It's just like the crunchy, salty outside of the bug. I sprayed some soy sauce on it. If you don't think about it as bugs, this actually tastes good. Oh, that was a lot. Well, 
Mm -hmm. Would you like to try one? Oh, oh, you did? Yeah! Oh, 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 this is called a horse shoe crab. I don't, it honestly looks like a big roach. I have a, a large gallery of people Maybe behind. It's a, kind of it's a kind of medicine. A medicine? Yeah, yeah. Does it taste like Chinese? I'm being told it's supposed to be good for you. Which disease is evil? Oh! The, wait, oh, you don't eat the wings. This one. Yeah. The back or the head or no? Uh, we eat all. You eat all. Yes. That's, that's not what I wanted her to say. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you see my hands shaking. Oh. There's stuff inside of that one. <laughs> It's never as bad as you think it's gonna be. It's really not like oh. there's a lot of hard texture inside of my mouth. Like kind of feels like I'm chewing on tree bark. But well, that was that was like the buggy part of it getting to me. <laughs> it's just it's very earthy with strong hints of soy sauce. And I wish this would get out of my mouth faster. <laughs> I don't know the head. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you think he's brave? <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, she's. She was the one little, peer pressure. A little me. crazy. A little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she's been going, eat yes. it, eat it, eat it. Have you not swallowed it yet? So I'm still chewing. We're at least 30 seconds into this. Oh, you want to see what's inside the bug? Oh, yeah. Woo! Okay, it's your turn. No. Yeah, it's your no. turn. It's your turn. No. I'm really nervous about it. Okay, so My new friend's gonna do that it one. I'm Gianna. Oh. Cheers. We're from Nashville. Oh, I'm not ready. We have to take the wings off. Oh, we do? I'll take That's off good to know. as many things as I'm allowed to take off. Here what side did you eat? I have the tail. Oh, not the head? Yeah. I'll go for the oh, tail. Oh, do you eat the whole thing or? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take a bite. Oh, okay. Cheers. Salty. <laughs> it's salty, but so chewy. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Did you just swallow it? <laughs> no. I don't like it at all. Tastes a little old. <laughs> She's braver than me. <laughs> she made me look really bad. I'm sorry. This right. is our new friend Drew from California. Hey everybody. Drew, have you ever eaten a bug before? I had one last night actually at the Rachata Night Market in Bangkok and I, I What did you think? I loved it, but I haven't tried this one. Let's go for it. It's all, all right. you. You got like, the whole thing? The whole thing. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Mm. Pressure's off of me now. <laughs> something to wash him down with. <laughs> wow, Drew is a really good sport. He walked up to us, he was like, hey, I watch your YouTube channel. And we were like, do you want to eat a bug? And he was like, yeah, let's do it. Just didn't even think about it. Dove right in. Drew, you are the man. Oh, can I get one? We are completely full to the brim. We have eaten as much delicious street food as we possibly can. But it, it wasn't all delicious, but we need as much street food as we possibly can, and we're ending this tour the best way that we know how with my favorite Thai dessert, mango sticky rice. I'm sure most of you already know what this is, but in case you don't, it's sticky rice, and then they chop up a mango, lay it on top, and then they drizzle it all with this super sweet coconut milk. It's perfect after all of the spicy food. I look forward to this every time we come. Okay, before we end this video, we have a debate that we have to settle. This is serious. <laughs> Three years ago when we were here, there was a temple at the end of the night market, and we walked inside, and there was a monk that we could not tell if he was a statue or if he was a real person. I can't tell if this is a real person.
still have no idea if he's real or a statue. He was real. Kara's convinced he was real. I'm convinced it was a statue because he didn't blink for like the so 10 real. minutes we were sitting there looking at it. That's a statue. So no way. we're going back to the temple and we're gonna see if he is still sitting in the same spot. If he's still in the same spot, I was right. Or he's a very dedicated he's monk. He's gonna be gone. <laughs> he was old. I think he was a wax statue. <laughs> he's gonna be right. He's gonna be right. Oh, this car. It will forever remain a mystery. Darn it. <laughs> It's closed, we'll never know. <laughs> if any of you get the chance to come here, on the right side of this temple, I don't get ran over by this car, I'm standing in a large puddle. <laughs> so if any of you come, you can help us solve the mystery. Let us know, is there a monk sitting really still on the front left side of the temple behind us? We really hope you enjoyed this video and we are stuffed. So we're gonna go get a foot massage. I'm like 70% positive it's not a real person, but like literally we've been within like 12 inches of it and still can't tell for sure. calling him it. She is still trying to figure out if he's real or not. Ready? <laughs> trying to say delicious and Thai. She was like, what? Oh, this smells nice. Woody. Squirt bottle of soy sauce. Cover up the light. There's no way he's still there. Bug. Just blow my eyeball. <laughs>